Yeah, this is our HVAC indoor air handler. Some people call it the furnace. Call it what you will. Um, it's a high efficiency furnace, so it has some special considerations. But this is our furnace. This is our gas piping. It's not supposed to be in the way. We're supposed to have 30 inches of service clearance in front of this. Uh, clear and free service clearance in front of this. So obviously we don't have that. So we're going on into the furnace. Drip, uh, gas is not protected. Uh, this, again, this is a high efficiency furnace. And what's going on here is this is the overflow drain for the condensate. We got rust in our pan. Got rust in our pan. And so, um, and this is actually supposed to go down this drain first. So why is it going down the secondary drain pipe? I don't know. And it's highly acidic acid, and it's going into your sewer line without a neutralizing filter. So we've got those things to kind of take into consideration. If you look below there, there's the care and use manual. And so coming on up, let's see, we're moving on to the evaporator coil that would be over here, here, and here. They just extended the pan a little bit. Okay, extending the pan like like you have, I mean, that's fine, except what's going on here is, and this is your evaporator coil, which I cannot read because they painted over it with mastic, so I don't know if it's the right size or not. Okay, but if the water backs out of the coil or from your condensate drain and backs out, Okay, I think we're good there. I thought I found something. These are in real time. Okay, we're good. I'm not good about the condensate, and I am concerned about the rusty water and the fact that we do not have a condensate um, neutralizing filter. Then over here is our primary drain, right in there. It's kind of tight up here, but right in there is your primary drain. And it's insulated like it's supposed to be. Yay! But um, that's a shallow trap. I mean, they sell them. I get that. And they're faster and quicker and easier, but the manufacturer may, I mean, when I want to check, the manufacturer might want a deeper trap than that. I want a deeper trap than that. And we also might want to condensate acid drink. Now, if the condensate goes down the primary drain, that goes into the sewer. So that could mess up your sewer. But the secondary drain line, you obviously you can see that by the rust in the pan, that the condensate is bypassing the primary drain for some reason. And it's going down to the secondary drain. And the secondary drain it usually discharges onto your roof someplace. I have to go out and look. So it's you're going to have acidic water just washing your roof covering. So we don't want that. We don't want that. And the shallow trap, the evaporator coil, like I said, coming over here. This is where our air filter is. It's time to change your air filter, man. It just is. We, we kind of crawl up here. Be careful. There is no room. All right. It's going to take some acrobats. Acrobatics. We have these suitcase buckles. We go in there. And four by 20 by 25. And slide a new there just as easy as that readjust your buckles and you're fine that leaves us with our this is a heat exchanger when we draw fresh air from the exterior it mixes it with the interior air so we don't have a big problem but it's supposed to see how these are sealed up it's supposed to be sealed up it's not we're gonna lose a little efficiency there not tons but yes is the duct kinked? You bet it is. Is it sagging? Uh-huh. More than half an inch sag. Sure it is. Are you going to be able to get in here and straighten it out very much? Probably going to have a hard time doing something like that. What's going on over here? Got a mastic sealer. That's fine. We don't want this stuff crushing our duct. This is a workspace. It's not a storage space. 